have just been tuned into the street session with your boy for us and Joe MK. Well, you ready, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. So we're back here, Black Deer Festival, day two of 2022 in Tunbridge Road. And today I am chilling with one of the coolest people I just got to speak to outside <laughs> of uh, the camera, finding out that she's also not just from London. She's a dope artist and her name is Hannah White. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling so far this morning? I'm feeling hot and I'm feeling raving to go because we've been waiting like three years yeah, for this. Yeah, this is the last one, yeah. So, yeah, no, I'm really excited. Yeah, and do you have any nerves going to, going to before you go on stage? Um, do you know what? It's really weird. There's a festival thing yeah. that I don't... It's, it's like, I, I mean, maybe a little bit nervous, but not really because yeah. there's something about that festival vibe that you're walking around and it's everywhere. Yeah. It's not like when you're playing a gig and yeah. you're in a venue and it's like, I don't know, you've got to bring that room in. There's that vibe is already there everyone's yeah. up for it and everyone's yeah. willing and you know it's great <laughs> yeah. it's nice yeah, yeah yeah and do you know what like when you i feel like even just from being here yesterday as well the crowd are really up for it yeah and they're down to get along with anything that you perform as well is that something that you look forward to knowing as well that like you know the new audiences will also be able to enjoy your new music i really do think that and i and do you know what this this type of music is kind of a growing genre isn't it in this yeah. country and i feel like people here are receptive so they might not know you but they're they you know they're into that music and they're listening yeah. and actually even wandering around doing your thing having your showers yeah. everyone's really nice <laughs> yeah. i don't know what it, is it the music i don't know what yeah. it is is it ken <laughs> everyone's really nice yeah, and friendly yeah, yeah. so yeah it's true it's true it has like a proper like togetherness family feel yeah. and you can talk to anyone because i even camped so like even just walking around like everyone saying morning like, like, if you're running out of water they're like oh we got some water for yeah. you guys i'm like oh, oh it's so nice <laughs> see we won't want to leave <laughs> 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 we'll get too drunk though if you stay here. <laughs> Back to Croydon. <laughs> oh, the drinker don't even stop in Croydon. <laughs> it probably goes on for too long. <laughs> Are they as friendly though? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, hell no. There's no sherry drinks there. They're like, I'll get your own drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going into music as well. Obviously, you recently dropped your fourth album, About Time. Yeah. Uh, which I found out as well was self produced yeah. by yourself. So, what made you wanted to produce the album yourself? Well, I'm really proud of this because, so yeah, it's my fourth album, and the other albums, like obviously, they're my songs yeah. and they mean a lot. Yeah. But you know, when you, you're kind of handing it over, like you, yeah, you're yeah. into music, you know, yeah. like you hand over your songs and it becomes, it's a departure from something that's inside. Yeah. And I find you know listening to them it's it's just a different relationship it's like mm. they're gone and they're not yeah. i wanted to have something that's closer to me but i've yeah. not been i've just not been brave enough yeah. and it's a confidence thing like having the confidence to commit to like yeah. this is the sound i want mm. and and it, i'm going to put it out there and yeah. i was so terrified of yeah. re releasing and what people would say yeah. what the hell is she doing but it's been really well received so that's yeah. really nice um and also because you know women who in women in the industry the whole music industry no matter what genre yeah. the statistics are so bad like yeah. the, i think it's i read that only two percent of producers are women yeah. and between like depending on where you're reading your statistics mm. 12 and 20 percent of songwriters are women right. so you're not really hearing women's voices and yeah. so just for all of that i thought like i feel like this is really important and i want to do it and i need to do it and yeah. so it's 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 felt like a really good step. I don't really yeah. want to come back from it now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I love that because I read that you had an article in The Guardian and I read that, you know, you've kind of like discovered your sound now through, you know, doing your album About Time. What would you say is the difference between working with producers and then being able to produce your own music at the same time? I think it's about like that when you put in a record together there's there's lots of things going on so yeah. like writing songs you're making songs and that's a, that's a intimate relationship with yeah. a song with a one track but with a record like it's you like a, making a sound yeah. and that's what I wanted to do I, w I didn't want it to be just oh that's a nice song or a collection of what what have you mm. I wanted it to be this is a moment in time yeah. like come together for 40 minutes with all these and that's a moment you spend yeah. and a time you have like a real connection um, and I just like that process has totally been totally missing for me yeah. in all those other records yeah. when it was a different producer yeah 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 you yeah, know yeah, is yeah. what that what that wasn't something I've 
was in charge of or could, like had any had that influence over would you say covid helped you to actually produce the album because obviously you dropped the album last year a uh, year before that was like 2020 when it was all lockdowns and stuff was that like your opportunity to be able to then essentially produce the music you wanted to do did that give you time to do that i think so like needs must in it <laughs> There's, you know like yeah maybe those things all came yeah, together to, yeah, yeah. because it's true that it's like everything's diff more difficult everything's been impossible yeah. so just that whole sense of actually yeah we could like I can do this myself yeah, I can, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah you're right yeah and should we be expecting any more music anytime soon totally, totally. i've got yeah. i'm recording another album now okay. with um so and i'm producing it with my bass player who's michelle stoddart from the magic numbers yeah. um so she's we're doing it together so two women together i'm excited <laughs> about it um yeah. and it's a it's a lot more mm. like energy yeah. like it's it's different it's a departure yeah. from this record this was important yeah. but it's kind of like i feel like it's a you know the introduction to the next yeah, one yeah, so yeah. i'm excited yeah i, I want to ask you a lot of the conversation i've had within well since yesterday and today especially with like um the female artists yeah. has been a conversation surrounding having an all um head a woman headlining festival with also women doing a sound engineer yeah. is that something that you would like to see as well because we always i feel the conversation has always been surrounded by you know it's always men and it's always like majority men as headline and maybe one or two women would you love to see something where maybe we have like a full maybe woman cast or a majority woman headlining cast something like that in the future i think do you know what i don't i don't know you know i think it's really important that women are given more of a space and the trouble is that because men are making the decisions yeah, i just yeah, feel yeah. like it is a it is a male dominated thing yeah. but I, you know i don't think it has to be all women like yeah, i think yeah. it's important to hear everyone yeah, and yeah, yeah. you know what men do is brilliant and, yeah, and yeah. you know a male perspective is brilliant yeah. as long as you've got the other one as well course, and i just yeah. feel like that is like one time i've got kids and my daughter was singing an ariana grande song yeah, yeah not yeah. approved in my house no <laughs> i'm joking um <laughs> And, and she and the, the lyric was a little less conversation, a little more touch my body, and yeah. I kind of muttered under my breath, said no woman ever, and she <laughs> yeah. was like what, and 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 she was like no, that's that's Ariana Grande singing, and I'm like but that's not her words, that's not her, like she's singing what someone else has written yeah, for her, yeah, yeah, 100%, yeah. and I just felt like the women I know who write, they're writing about their kids and yeah. divorce and yeah, yeah. you know like their body image and yeah, like yeah, just yeah. it's just stuff that men don't write about, yeah. and it's. You know, if it was all that, it would be boring. It's nice to have it all, isn't it? Yeah. I, I always think that um, women, for me personally, I feel like when they touch on certain subjects, it feels a bit more emotionally attached to me than I feel like a man can do. I feel like men try to do it on a... Some some, some don't, but I feel like most do it on a masculinity point where they're not trying to go too deep. Whereas I feel like a woman will just give you the full heart, like they give you the whole thing. It's true. Um, so I feel like that's that's what I feel like sometimes is missing in music. It's just that proper emotion. Cause we've lost that now since the 90s. Like nowadays, people just, especially if you want to go into like hip hop conversation, there's there's no love in <laughs> like, <laughs> it. <laughs> we don't even know what's going on over there, but. Uh, <laughs> no, it's true. And yeah. I, I really liked hip hop for a while, and I kind, it's, I kind of like moved on from it because yeah. it's really hard to listen to the yeah, same yeah. stuff all that like. Well, yeah, there's, no, there's nothing new. There's nothing and new. I feel, I think what's missing is something new. Yeah. <laughs> And a, and a message and sometimes yeah, yeah. like we were talking about why people write music or make music and yeah. you want to you want to feel that someone really believes yeah, it and yeah. when it's the same old like yeah. i don't know well it's interesting because that's what i've learned about just studying americana and like americana culture and just country in general there's so much different stuff yeah. and no one really sounds the same everyone's yeah. got their own little flavor yeah. and different stories and i just think that's pretty beautiful and yeah. obviously that's what i'm here like talking to hannah white as well <laughs> um if anybody wants to catch you anytime soon, you got anything going along, festivals coming up or anything like that? I'm playing Glastonbury next week. Glastonbury. Uh, I'm at Glastonbury. Um, more camping. <laughs> 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 wonder if they're as friendly. Um, yeah, Glastonbury next week. And then I've got a few weeks off and I'm going to Norway and I'm playing a festival and doing some gigs in Norway. And then I'm supporting Ricky Ross from Deacon Blue, yeah, on his UK tour. So that's when I come back in September, I'll be doing that until October. Yeah. So I'm all over the place. So you can find me on the website, Hannah White Music. I hope I bump into you soon at Glastonbury, oh. but we're going to make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> I have a drink for you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, but listen, thank you for talking to us today. Uh, this is your boy for us, uh, War FM 90.4 for the street sessions. And if you want to find anything to do with Hannah White, or if you want to hear the Guardian interview that she did, great article. All the links will be in the description below. That's if you're on YouTube. If you listen to radio, you can just go check the website. Everything will be on there. And if you listen to on a podcast, go to the description section, and everything Hannah White will be there for you to find her. So thank you very much for coming thank down. You. I really Love appreciate it. it. Thank, thank you. you. So Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. You tuned into the street session with your boy for us and Joe MK. Why is this the name of our show, bro? Because we're the hottest in the streets. Mm. Catch us online on the go and on the FM. Okay, let's go.